Hello friends, welcome to the second video of the tutorial series on Google Dialogflow Messenger. In this video, we'll see how to customize your Google Dialogflow Messenger plugin. And second, we will see different kind of rich responses that are supported by Google Dialogflow Messenger. So let's get started. There is a full documentation available on how to customize and use rich responses on Google Dialogflow Messenger. So I am on that page. And if you scroll down, you will see there are different things that you can do out of the box. And these are the customization on the you know color of the agent uh, window, this brown. Uh, this uh, green and kind of uh, purple color changes on the text background. So let's implement that. Let me copy this. Let me copy actually whole of this. And let me go to index.html. Um, by the way, I'm going to use uh, Python version. You can either use, you know, Node.js or Python version. Let me save this. Let me run Python main.py. Now the server is running. Let me go to localhost 5050. You can see the changes. Okay, if I write something high, okay, so we have successfully implemented this and you can play around to, you know, the color that suits you best or the theme of your website. The next thing we'll see is rich responses. Now, let's first see the kind of rich response this is info response type okay so let me go here and create a new intent info response let me put a training phrase info response and under response section, I will add custom payload and that will be the text copied from the dialog flow. And I'll say here is a info response. Let me save this. Here I will write info response and you can see we have got info response. Okay, when I click on it, it will go to uh, example domain. So that is obviously coming from here. Now I want you to understand that you can sequence this in any way you want and you will have the responses. Let me add one more response here. This is a second response when i save this and if i go here and let's say info response you see here is the uh, info response the info rich response and the second text and let me show you more interesting thing is that if I delete all this and if I just have a custom payload it will work as well okay so I hope you got the idea now the next thing is descriptive type of response so again you can you know copy this create a new intent and 
and under response I will say custom payload and paste the format of the response and I'll say here is a descriptive response let me save this when I come here and say descriptive response we will see descriptive response so in this way you can you know test all the kind of rich responses on your chatbot but the one I would like to show is uh, chips and yeah these are the chips so let me copy this Here is a chip response. Okay, let me add that. If I say chip response, you see here, this is a one chip which is clickable again okay and again and one more thing that when you click on that chip response that chip responses will be will disappear actually okay let's say chip response okay this is chip 2 which is again clickable and you can have a chip response which is not clickable only a simple button that is post back kind of uh, button so let me add it here it is it is kind of uh, text and it is let's say hi okay let me save this i hope this works okay you can see here and when I click on it it will send that into chat so these are the rich responses I hope this video helps you and if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and share this video see you in the third video in which we will see how we can use webhook to send rich responses in a response to dialogflow query thank you for watching peace